Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you all here today. And I'm happy to announce, as you know, that Graceland will be open to the public as a memorial museum to Elvis Presley. Is Colonel Parker invited to this? Gee, did we, did we send him a telegram? He's not in the media. <laughs> That's right. That's right. He's not in the media. <laughs> At least not in the uh, no, public. It's been my home for a long time. And uh, it had to go beyond that in, I guess, reality and economics is a major point. So it has to go beyond emotions. Is the upkeep on Graceland terribly draining on the estate? Very much so. Absolutely. This has been a major point. And um, this has been, of course, the major decision of why we are opening it. Did you talk in jest about someday Graceland opening to the public? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Elvis was very proud of his home. And any time guests would come in, he was more than willing to show, show them throughout the, the house. And uh, I think he'd be very pleased to know that it was shown in this way. I'm very happy. I always feel you're going to get some criticism no matter what you do. I found in life that, you know, you're not always going to be... Uh, or people are not always going to think you're doing the right thing. And if there's to be a Graceland at all, this is the way we have to do it. Uh, thank God that uh, uh, we're doing it privately. You know, we uh, it didn't really work out with the state and with the city, but uh, we have control and, and we're doing it, I believe, in the way that Elvis would love and appreciate, and we're maintaining it and uh, preserving it for him. So, you know, what can I say? Uh, I think Lisa, at the time that she's of age, will be very happy that it's done this way. Do you think she ever wants to live here? Uh, I don't know, but if she does, it's hers and uh, it'll all be preserved for her. I don't think it could be if it was done any other way. If you'll notice, there is no um, kind of construction going up on the grounds that's permanent. If ever she decided at the age of 25 that she wanted to maintain it as her personal home, it's, it's, it's for her to do just that, yes. What does she think about opening it up? Uh, she's very pleased about it. She is um, very proud of it, and she feels the same, that uh, she would love people to see Graceland. She's uh, 14 years old and enjoying her life, <laughs> which is very good. She's into roller skating. <laughs> I think she's a real typical teenager. Yes, I have mixed emotions about it. It is quite, uh, it's something of which, um, it was a long time to make the decision, but it's something that I feel is it's very good and very positive, and especially the way that we're doing it, uh, I think it's very good. There's been a lot of discussion as to whether $5 was really adequate to cover all of your expenses. Well, here. we're projecting a lot of people, and especially, I think, also with the World's Fair opening, and we want to make it so that people all over the world can come. I know that we have uh, people uh, throughout Europe, all over, actually all over, and we want to make it possible for them and everyone to see it. And five dollars may seem, you know, not a lot, but I think uh, we're going to give it a try. We want to do the best for the people. Okay. Thank you very much. It's been a long time since I've Bye bye. Can I have a